let's start out with the hair. So today I wanted to work with a wig that comes already highlighted. Now I do believe that this hair has been bleached to be the color that it is. So therefore I'm going to actually add a hair color over top of it. Um, so this wig does come with that fake scalp insert. It also does not come with bleach knots. So I did take the fake scalp out and I went back and bleached the knots. What I'm going to do today is color the highlighted parts on this wig as you can see it has the streak of color in the front and also it has the color in the back at the end so it's like an ombre i love these type of wigs because you can take this and do what you want with it as far as color you can deposit any type of color you want but for today's video i'm just going to add this color over top my goal today is to tone down some of the orangey yellow tones that's in the hair so i'm just going to go ahead and follow the instructions that come with this kit and mix everything up so the cool thing about the garnier um fruities is that it has the serum that you can pour into the hair color and it's supposed to protect or give the hair nutrients so it won't dry out so much from the hair color which i really love i used to do this with my bleach put a little bit of oil in it and yeah it used to work really good so I know this will actually protect the hair. So I'm just adding that color on the highlighted parts. Now, like I said, with this type of wig, you can do whatever color you want on it. So you can do red, blue, purple. It kind of makes the process easy because you don't need to go back and bleach the hair and then color the hair. The hair already comes like that. Okay, so now that I've washed the hair, I did bleach the knots when I colored the wig. Um, so that's already done. I'm gonna go ahead and style it. Make sure you stay tuned because we are going to get into this Q&A and also makeup. So yeah, just keep on watching. you guys so i wanted to do a q a in this video i asked you guys if you had questions that you wanted to know to get to know me a little bit more if i don't get to answer your question because you didn't get a chance to send me one you can always leave questions underneath this video and maybe in the future i can do another q a addressing anyone's question that i don't answer in today's video i'm also going to be doing my makeup did a little shopping i went to walgreens and i picked up some really affordable makeup just in case any of you want to follow along with today's look I'm actually really excited about that because i haven't purchased makeup in a little while this wig i will be sure to put it below in the description box i absolutely love how it turned out for some reason my camera is still picking up those orange tones in the 
um, highlighted parts. However, in person, I promise you guys, is more brown. So I will post pictures over on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on Instagram if you would like to see that. All right, so I'm gonna start by priming my face and I'm using this primer here. Primer is by Tarte. I asked you guys over here on YouTube and I also asked you on Instagram. A few people asked me questions on Instagram. I'm gonna start with those and then we'll move into you guys' over here questions. So the first question actually concerning my braces. So if you guys know I was in braces, it says I watched your braces videos prepping for mine. How do you feel about your results? I actually really like my results. I have no issues when it comes to my teeth. Um, at first when I got my braces off, I had to be used to uh -huh, everything. I love my results. I don't have any regrets. I'm gonna use the brow stylist and this is by L'Oreal. It's in dark brunette. The next question says, still waiting on your mommy makeover Q&A video. When is it dropping? So I did drop that video on my second channel. It went up probably about a month and a half ago. If you are not subscribed to my second channel, you most likely didn't get the notification, but I did upload it. Um, I am going to redo that video because I felt like, I don't know, I, I had a few complaints about addressing my doctor, but I felt like there are some things I really want to talk about before I jump into details on, you know, my final thoughts on my results. So if you would like to get more updates about my mommy makeover, make sure to go to that channel and subscribe to it. I will link it below. All right, you guys, so I'm trying new foundations today. I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Sticks and I have two colors here. Um, the first color is Toffee Pecan and the next one is Am Amber. Yeah, I'm gonna try both of these um, and see what it do. What am I doing wrong? When I glue my unit, I always have two or three little air pockets on my forehead. Color might be okay. Um, let me see this one. Oh, that's too light. Nope, the amber is too light. I have to go with the, I'm gonna go with the Tofi Pecan. Let's see, to answer that question, I'm guessing you mean the laces lifting in certain areas. I have that right now, right here at the center. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Real Technique Beauty Sponge to blend this out. But I believe that comes from not tying down the wig or missing spots when you go to apply your wig adhesive or sprays. Um, I have that happen all the time. I usually just go back and touch it up and tie it down again. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the color Sand. The next question says, how long do you typically leave your wigs on? Uh, what's the longest amount of time you lived in one of your units? So the longest I've worn a wig um, was most likely for like a month. Cause some of you feel like maybe I don't really get a chance to actually test out my wigs a lot because I'm taking them off, putting them on for videos. Normally the styles that I prefer to wear when I'm not filming are natural hair colors. Also Swiss lace. So that moves into the next question. Let's save that for later, where do you go to? We're gonna come back to that. I would like to know What's your favorite wig and what is the number one wig company you would recommend to your viewers? This question I get a lot. Um, when it comes to companies, I don't have like a favorite, favorite company. However, I do have favorites where sometimes like I prefer one company that I feel like may have the best curly hair compared to the other company who may have the best Swiss lace or the best straight hair. It works like that for me more so than an actual favorite company. My favorite type of wig to wear is definitely a Swiss lace and in like a water wave texture. Um, but my favorite one right now that I like comes from Pretty Lux Hair. If I could wear that wig every single day, without changing it up, that's the style I would choose. That person also asked, they wanna know, do I review wigs that are sent to me and do I purchase them? So I do purchase some wigs and some wigs I do review. And let me just say this, I am so grateful to <laughs> be offered opportunities. It's hard being a black influencer and getting companies to work with you. I don't get a lot of opportunities, so I do appreciate the ones that I do get. That does not mean that I'm gonna be dishonest if I don't like something, I do not show it on my channel. If I work with the company and I really like their product, if someone else doesn't like it, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop liking it. It just means that maybe we just have different views on, you know, what we like and what we don't like. Everybody's, you know, views is different. Okay, so that moves into my next question. But before I get into that, I'm using the Wet n Wild Fair Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna try to keep this eyeshadow look very daytime. I'm just so excited to kind of play with that burgundy that's in there because it's really pretty but we will see how it turns out. 
Um, so the next question says, if a company asks to sponsor you, do you always accept or do you do your own research on the company to see if their brand is in line with yours, uh, regardless of if you're offered sponsorship or money? Everybody know that social media has turned into a job for a lot of people. So when a company offers me a, a opportunity, I do my research on them and figure out, hey, do I want to work with you or I don't? Money does not mean that I'm gonna work with anyone. Like I get so many emails daily that I reject. I only work with companies and products that I truly have tried, I truly like. And if I am for the first time trying a company, I let you guys know that in a video. I'll say, hey, you guys, this is my first time, you know, trying this company and I can't get this palette open. <laughs> <laughs> but I always let you guys know if it's my first time like I would love to work with different brands and you know bring variety to this channel if it fits with what I think you guys will want to see and I want to share let me go ahead and set my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with this powder before I move any further so the next question says how do you like your YouTube journey how do you separate your home life and YouTube I kind of like this question because it's, it's personal, it's like I wanna get to know you. I love it to the point that I've been doing it for years now, that's how much I love it. Um, I have my days where I don't want to get on camera and I'm like, oh, hold on, before we get into this, I'm gonna be using these brushes, so also the Real Technique brushes. I found these at Walgreens, so I'm gonna be using these and the face brushes for my eyes and my face. Also, Walgreens right now is having like a 50% off sale. So you buy one brush set, you get the next one 50% off for real technique. Jump on that. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. Um, but I'm gonna go in with this color here first. For the most part, I enjoy my journey. I think it's definitely, YouTube can teach you a lot that you didn't know and it can also help you grow to learn things about yourself that you didn't know. Not only do I help you guys, but you guys help me grow. You just get to introduce yourself to a whole new variety of people. So as far as how I separate my YouTube journey from like my YouTube from my family, I'm not really sure how to answer that. Like right now my daughter, she runs back and forth in here and she interrupts me every single time like she always tries tries to jump on the camera like she wants to be in front of the camera. I purposely have kept my kids off camera. They're gonna come up, but someone wants to know how many kids do I have, I have four. My oldest, um, she just turned 18. I know, ooh, how old are you? <laughs> but yeah, I have teenagers, so I try to keep them off social media because I want them to focus more on their schooling. But with COVID and everything, I have transitioned them to homeschool. So when they were in school, I just didn't want it to be a distraction to their schoolwork. So that's why I keep my kids separate from my YouTube channel. And plus my YouTube for me is kind of like my own getaway. It's that me doing the things that I want to do. So yeah, it is a bit hard to balance sometimes because you know there are things that you guys don't know that I go through outside of my kids, you know, that I deal with every single day. So it makes it a little hard. And I know that if things don't get better, that there's a possibility that I may have to stop YouTube one day because my personal life will call for me to take care of the things that I have to take care of in my life that I don't talk to you guys about. So I'm hoping it don't get that way. But a lot of times, like, it's hard. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard but I still manage to get through it and try to find, I try to keep it joyful over here, okay? <laughs> I try to find it good in everything. Okay, so the next question um, says, it's about my surgery that I got. It's, oh, you actually have a lot of questions. Thank you for sharing your experience on getting plastic surgery. Now, since it's been a while, honestly, would you do it again? Do you recommend surgery for those who want it as well? Would you use the same doctor? And what would you do differently now if you could go through this process again, knowing what you know now? Any advice on overcoming these fears? So honestly, would I do it again? I had several things done. I feel like the tummy tuck was simple. It's for me right now, the breast augmentation that's like giving me a little bit of like, eh. we'll talk about that in a later video. As far as the liposuction, I feel like the liposuction was the toughest as far as healing because it was so painful afterwards. I would honestly recommend to get the massages, the lymphatic massages, if you can, it's going to be so helpful with liposuction and the healing. This color right here, this pretty color would I do it again um it just depends 
I feel like when you have a breast augmentation done, you will have to eventually go in again because you need to get a revision after a few years. And if you have something, you know, that goes left in your healing process, then you may have to get it again. If it was my choice, no, I probably wouldn't go through all of this again. But if I needed a revision or something like that, I would definitely get it done. Do I recommend it for anyone else? I can't really say yes or no to that. I mean, if you really want this done, like if you feel like it's something that you've always wanted, yes, I would recommend you do it for yourself. Only if you're doing it for yourself because the healing process is a process, definitely an, em an emotional process especially like I said, if something go wrong. So you wanna make sure that it's for you. It'll help you mentally get through, you know, the healing process. To overcome your fears, I honestly say you have to just go for it. Find you a great doctor and just go for it because I, that's what I did. I just went for it because I thought about it for years too. And I just was like, man, this is like getting on a roller coaster for me. That's how I looked at it. It's like getting on a roller coaster. And when you're standing in that line, you just be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do this. You can decide to get out the line right there, but it's like once you get on that roller coaster, there's no turning back. There's no getting off. So that's how I look at it. Um, you're, it's never going to be a time where you're, you're going to be ready, ready. You just have to kind of get the courage and just go for it. Let me go back to this question. Um, she says, what are your least and favorite things about your influence or lifestyle? And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, you guys. I didn't organize this. I'm just kind of reading. So my favorite things about being an influencer is that I get to do everything that I love. Like I enjoy filming. I enjoy taking, well, sometimes I enjoy taking photos. Photos is like the worst for me because even as a kid, I never like taking pictures. <laughs> so that's the hardest, but I enjoy like coming up with ideas. When I have great ideas, I enjoy sharing it with you guys. I genuinely enjoy that. Um, I enjoy just being able to do what I love to do. Um, my least favorite would be like social media and the numbers and people just not feeling like you're good enough if you don't have a million subscribers or this many likes. That's like the worst part about social media that I really, I hate it. I wish people would just look at me for my qualities and my personality more so than looking at my subscriber number or my like number and be like, ooh, yeah, she not popular enough. Let me move on to the next person. What is your go-to comfort food? Chocolate. So I'm gonna use the NYX eyeliner. This is in black. It's a waterproof liner. Oh, it's the Epic Ink Liner. You have a youthful look and your personality is awesome. Thank you. How old are you? I am 33. I just turned 33 in October. What are things you've learned? Affordable equipment, how to find time on filming. Ooh, that's a whole nother separate video. That's like a whole separate video. I can't even go into that because to be honest, when it comes to YouTube, I've spent so much money. Like you guys, I probably spent more money on equipment than I've actually made off of YouTube to be honest. So yeah, we'll go into that in another time. Okay, so I'm gonna apply that same color I put on the lid to the lower lash line. The next question says, do you have another professional activity besides YouTube? Do you work in the hairstyling field or do you get your knowledge on your own? I'm very self-taught. I just have a personality where I'm like, if I want to do something, I want to teach myself. Like I know a lot of people on YouTube like to copy each other. I like to come up with my own fresh ideas. That's why I tell you guys all the time, when I do my wigs, I'm not doing 101 things that other people are doing. Everything I do is very very simple that's just how I am and as far as do I have another professional outside of um, YouTube I do have my own wig business I'm trying to rebuild with that I'm in the process of moving soon so I have a lot going on in my personal life that I'm just trying to manage and get together okay so I'm going to go in with where is it I'm gonna use this brown liner on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in Mocha, and I'm only using this to kind of bronze up my skin. I'm also going to use the Real Technique. Well, it looks like this, you guys. Um, what, which one is this? It comes in the kit, it's the number 400, so fluffy. What is your career path, and how did you choose it? Basically, did I go to college? No, I didn't go to college. How did you meet your husband? Me and my husband, we actually met in sixth grade yeah so we've been together for about 13 14 years married for 12. like i said i met him in sixth grade yeah we happened to reconnect again later on in life 
and here we are what is your general advice to women never settle for less okay and like stop tearing each other down it's always about using or competition and for me like i i literally avoid a lot of people because I don't want to be put in a situation where I feel like we're friends, we are cool, and then I have to find out that we it was just a business plan. So let's start kind of sticking together, working with each other instead of against each other. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with a brown liner. Um, these are the lashes that I'm wearing today. So the next question says, how often do you sell the wigs you don't want? Are you into the headband cr wig craze? How often do I sell my used wigs? I try to sell them when I have time. I usually post if I am going to sell them. I usually post on my community tab here on YouTube. Um, what's the next question? Are you into the headband wig craze? Absolutely not. That's why I have not shared any on my channel, but I do have one I am going to try for you guys just because you guys asked for it. T-part wig is, to me, better <laughs> than a headband wig. I'm using the NYX Lip Butter in Madeline. How many children do you have and how old? Um, like I said, I have four. 18, 15, 13, and three. Do they look more like you or more like their dad? Yes, they look more like me. My youngest daughter, everyone says look like her dad, but she's like a dark-skinned version of me. Matter of fact, my two youngest, um, they like a dark skin version of me. So basically, I think they look like me, but they look like their dad too. And do you have siblings? Yes, I have a brother and I have a sister and they are much older than me. They're in their, if you are watching this, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they're in their 50s, so I am the youngest. All right, so this is the finished look. I'm just gonna finish off my makeup with the Morphe. This is the Luminous Setting Spray. Absolutely love this mist. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna put this hair down in the description box. I think it turned out beautiful. This hair again is from Pretty Lux Hair. Absolutely love it so much. Um, be sure to check them out. They are one of my favorite um, hair companies. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop them below. I would love to do another q and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to thumbs it up, subscribe if you are not, and share this video with anyone that you feel like you wanna share it with. And I will see you guys in my next video if you are subscribed. Mm -hmm.